Welcome back! Now, before the break, we were chatting to Mario Fanatic 2004 about the story of how he became a YouTuber. And he also revealed some exciting news about his new animated series coming soon. Yeah, very exciting, I know. And now here's something else that's exciting. It's now time for the Oscar Barnet Quiz! You know how it works. I ask Kelly and the guest some general quiz questions in the hope of winning this. The flashly coloured ball. Look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? But who will win it? Let's find out when we play the Oscar Barnet Quiz. Are you ready, Teddy? I'm ready. Are you ready, Mario Fanatic? Yes, everybody's ready. Let's get started then. Question one. Where did Peter Pan's adventures take place? Netherlands. Neverland. Never Neverland. Or Never Everland. Teddy? I think I know this one. Oh yes, Neverland. Okay, and Mario Fanatic. Ah, both saying Neverland. The correct answer is... It's Never Neverland. What? <laughs> Come on, Teddy. Use your words. <laughs> Never... Uh, uh, what? I thought it was Neverland. Uh, uh, so, so did I, Teddy. I, I'm sure that was Neverland as well. But, uh, but apparently it's Never Neverland. Uh, oh! So, no points there. Oh! But I've got something to say about Never Everland. Oh, yes. That's what happened to Peter Pan. If he couldn't stop flying, he would never ever land! <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thank you for that, Oscar. I needed the cheering up after that. That's what I do. I cheer up people. I'm here to help, remember? And before he said, I'm not a koala, brother. <laughs> but anyway, next question. <laughs> question two. According to the rhyme, who sailed away with the pussycat in a beautiful pea-green boat? The ostrich? The owl? The partridge? Or the penguin? Teddy? I know this one and I know it's right. Yes, it's the owl. Confident on that one as well. Mario Fanatic. Both saying owl. The correct answer is... Of course it's owl. The owl and the pussycat. Point to Mario Fanatic. And Teddy! <laughs> I really like that poem. Yeah, it's a nice poem, isn't it, Teddy? I wonder what would happen if if it was if the if the pussy cat sailed away with the ostrich in the boat. The ostrich would be so heavy it'll it'll tip the boat over and and catapult the pussy cat through the air and into the water. Sploosh <laughs> And if the pussy cat sailed away with a partridge it will be hearing this for hours. Aha! <laughs> because the partridge will be Alan Partridge. And if the pussycat's out of the way with a penguin, it will be hearing this for hours. <laughs> because the penguin will be thick, of course. Anyway. <laughs> Question three. What treatment are you having if there are needles 
being inserted into your body. Acupuncture. Armomathopy. Sorry. Reflexology. Or massage. Teddy. Uh, repeat the options again. Acupuncture. Aromatherapy. Reflex reflexology or massage. Uh oh, let's see. Um I think I'm gonna say um acupuncture. Okay. And Mario Fanatic? Oh, right. Mario Fanatic says arrow therapy. And Teddy says, acupuncture. The correct answer is... Acupuncture! Point to Teddy! <laughs> For a second there, I thought, well, I lost my pencil. <laughs> you know what, Teddy? What? If you have, you're having needles inserted into your body, I wouldn't call it a treatment. I'd call it a torture. <laughs> Think about it. It would be very painful having needles inserted into your body. If it was called a, if it was called a massage, so say for example, if I wanted a massage, but what I didn't know, I was actually going to get an acupuncture. So, if the person who was there. Who was in charge saying was saying are you ready mr barnett and i'd say yes i'm ready for a very nice relaxing soothing massage and the next second poke oh! <laughs> i'd say you call that a massage that was blooming sore and and he would say yes don't you like it? And I'd say, of course I don't like it. I've just had a needle inserted into my body. Of course I don't like it. I'm out of here. And then I'd well, go away. Leave. And I won't come back. Anyway. Next question. Question four. Which type of fresh fruit is dried to make a prune? Apricot. Peach. Cherry or plum? Teddy? I'm going to say for that one, a uh, plum. Okay. And Mario Fanatic? Ooh. Mario Fanatic says peach. Teddy says plum. The correct answer is... Plum! Point to Teddy! <laughs> I must say, I love all of those fruits. You know. Well, yes. What would you say is your favourite out of the four? Hmm. I think cherries. I love cherries. Especially on a Belgian bun. <laughs> Remember... Fruit is healthy, so make sure you have plenty of fruit every day. Uh, I don't think anyone found that funny. Not exactly comedy, is it? Just a fact. Well, I needed to say something about that question at least, Teddy. <laughs> mm, true, true. Okay, anyway, question five. What is the famous RAF aerobatic team called? Red Devils, Red Arrows, Red Flyers, or Red Imps? Teddy? Uh, um, I'm going to say the Red Devils. Okay. Am I a fanatic? Ah. 
My own fanatic says red arrows. Teddy says red devils. The correct answer is red arrows. Point to Mario fanatic. <laughs> I was, I think I, I think I know where I went wrong. Oh yes, Teddy. I was thinking about the devil from hell. Oh yeah, he's red. And like, are there, any, are there, are there, are there any other red devils? Can't think of anything apart from the devil himself. <laughs> okay. If you finish, Teddy. Yes, I finished. Then we can move on to the last question, question six, and it's and it's an easy one. You'll get this one. I think everybody will get it. With which types of building do you associate keeps, drawbridges, moats, and portcullises, churches, town halls, barns, castles, Teddy, castles, Mario Fanatic. Oh, okay. Marion Fantastic says town halls. Teddy says castles. The correct answer is castles. Point to Teddy. <laughs> um, excuse me, Marion Fantastic. Did you not know the answer to the question, or were you even paying attention? I thought you'd get it, but oh well, never mind. Well, we don't know everything. Well, except the chasers from the chase. They know everything. <laughs> and so with the eggheads from, well, eggheads. <laughs> and the, the question writers on all quiz shows. And quiz books. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now that we've come to the end of the quiz, it's now time to reveal who has won the flashly coloured ball for this week. Let's have a look at the scores. The scores are Teddy 4, Mario Fanatic 2. The winner is Teddy! <laughs> Congratulations, Teddy! Here's your prize. Oh! I must watch, watch this first. I must mention this every time. Before I give the winner its prize, the flashly coloured ball, I always wash it before giving it to them, as we're still in COVID times. But still, congratulations, Teddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you can give it to me because you shook my paw earlier on. Oh, yes! <laughs> so I did! Thanks for reminding me, Teddy. Anyway. Still. Uh, yeah, here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. I gave it an extra clean before, before the show anyway. Just to be sure. Thank you. And well done, Mario Fanatic. Yes, thank you for taking part. Teddy, everyone, and Mario Fanatic, everyone! Yay! <laughs> and congratulations, Teddy, on your first single win of the Oscar Barnett quiz of this series! Oh, yeah! Yippee! Thank you all for watching this week's show, and join me and Teddy again! Next week! So, in the meantime, it's good night from Mario Fanatic. Good night from Teddy. Oops, sorry, I dropped my prize. Good night. And it's good night from me. Good night! <laughs>